the cruise of Ocean and Cleopatra kicked off the season's first uptown parades. Thousands of revelers lined the route, but some wondered if the city's new carnival rules would hamper the experience. As Monica Hernandez reports, that was put to the test for the first time tonight. One of the biggest changes, ladders, chairs, and grills all have to be six feet from the street, and people have mixed emotions about that. There's nothing quite like Carnival, and tonight's parade signal the start of a 10-day party. We love Mardi Gras. We love the Mardi Gras season, so just having fun. It's a good time. A good time that some feared would be hampered by the city's new rules for Carnival. Among them, you can't cordon off space or put private porta potties on public property. But with a shrinking police force, some wondered whether they would actually be enforced. I'm going to push it as far as I can until they tell me what I got to do, and then I'll do whatever they enforce. But for tonight, police did enforce the rules. They told this group to move their chairs six feet from the curb, making it possible for others to block their view. Kind of takes takes away some of the. Uh, the pleasure of watching the parade because uh, I'm not a young man anymore and I can't I don't like standing up for a couple hours for some there's confusion about what the rules are I don't even know the new rules <laughs> so we're just coming out to have a good time but many on Napoleon Avenue were already heeding the rules with ladders set back six feet and most parents we spoke with like the changes they're a little bit stricter than before, but you know I think safety is the first um, concern for everybody, and you know it's their kids. We got to keep our kids safe. Police Chief Ronald Surpass hopes when it comes to enforcement, people will eventually begin to police themselves. This is the year of beginning to socialize the process, reminding people new rules are coming in, and it's all about safety. Parades will begin again tomorrow afternoon, and they will last almost through Fat Tuesday. Reporting uptown, Monica Hernandez, Eyewitness News.